about 100 people gathered yesterday on the steps of San Francisco City Hall for the 30th Annual National Arts Advocacy Day. Have your hands if you have ever been personally moved by a piece of art. Have your hands if you have ever had your assumptions challenged by a piece of art. The nationwide event, which traditionally serves as an opportunity for artists and art advocates to network, turned into a protest against the proposed dismantling of the National Endowment for the Arts by President Donald Trump. We face a federal government who thinks that art and culture belongs to the privileged few. So today in San Francisco, when we advocate for the arts, we stand up against that. In his first federal budget plan, President Trump proposed eliminating the National Endowment for the Arts and the National Endowment for the Humanities, as well as cutting funds for the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. These cuts would save just $300 million in a budget that totals $1.1 trillion. And the funding that we are looking at losing is imperative to the work that we do. Our ability to thrive as an artistic community is dependent on art funding. In addition to protesting the proposed cuts, yesterday's crowd was also asking the city of San Francisco itself to increase funding for the arts. The fight didn't just start today, because even though Trump is not just threatening to cut the NEA, but completely eliminate it, it wasn't even that much money to begin with. In the city and county of San Francisco, we're talking about a paltry $2.5 million to invest in our arts community. That is nothing. This fight began long before President Trump entered into the White House. While the president has been adamant about cutting federal arts funding, it may be difficult for him to get the cuts approved by Congress. Still, artists fear the end of the NEA. The fact that there is uh, a majority in the House and Senate for Republicans does make it scary um, that it will get pushed through. And so um, I feel like, yeah, it's really important that we're, we're out here, you know, uh, making our voices heard, uh, standing up for the arts in whichever way we can. In the coming months, Congress will finalize the 2018 budget, thereby revealing whether Republicans will actually back President Trump in his efforts to defund the arts.